We're using the greens that we collected in our last video to make a wonderful springtime soup. Thanks for joining us today on 18th Century Cooking with James Townsend and Son. It's such beautiful springtime weather out right now that I just had to get out of uh, the kitchen, out of the house. You know, it's been a long winter. So we're going to be doing this soup uh, with our springtime greens right out here in a, in a camp setting. Let's get started with our soup. Um, I'm gonna put um, probably a quart of water here, maybe a little less. And let's get that started warming up. Uh, if you're going to be making your soup with a beef base or a, some kind of a meat uh, base, especially say you're going to be using a salt ration, uh, then you'll want to put your salt ration in here ahead of time when it's cold. If you're using a, a fresh beef ration, you want this water boiling when you put it in. Uh, for our portable soup that we're going to be using today, actually that goes in last, so we're not going to put the portable soup in yet. Uh, for this particular soup, the first thing that goes in is our barley. And let's put in just about a handful of barley here. And regular barley uh, will take approximately an hour in your boiling water before you're ready to put in your other ingredients. You could also put in uh, rice, steel cut, uh, groats, or something similar too. Springtime is the perfect time to get out and reconnect with nature and reconnect with your friends and your family in a, in a uh, cooking experience like this or a, a uh, spring camping time. It is a uh, perfect time of year for that kind of thing. I really love this time of year because it's so much uh, different than, say, summertime. Uh, you get um, a lot of the plants aren't uh, up yet, but there are no mosquitoes, there's no ticks. Uh, we got migratory birds this time of year, so th it's a totally different kind of experience. I've got stinging nettles, which is the, the bulk of what's going on here. And I'm going to chop them up uh, fairly small. The stinging part of these stinging nettles, uh, which is uh, uh, formic acid, goes away in the high temperature of the boiling. So we don't need to uh, concern ourselves, worried about uh, whether that's going to hurt us when we eat it. Uh, I've got a little bit of wild garlic. Yeah, I called this wild onions in the last video, but it actually with this tubular stem, it's wild garlic. Uh, wild garlic is strong enough that you probably don't want a lot of it in here. I'm just going to use some of the green stems. Chop them up fine. I even have a few of the bulbs that I cleaned off, and we'll just uh, chop those up and put those into. Don't need very much of that. It's gonna it's, it's gonna bring a lot of flavor in with it. Along with our uh, dandelion greens I've got here, I also have uh, some of those some of the garlic mustard. I'm not gonna use a lot of that. Uh, really, you really um, should uh, pre-taste some of these greens so that you know uh, whether. It's going to be something you really want to put a lot of or a little into your soup. Uh, if you've got it, uh, carrots, uh, parsnips, uh, many things could go in at this point. So our greens and our barley are uh, done. It's time to put in the portable soup. Here are our little portable uh, soup pieces. And, uh, you know, we're using about a quart of water, maybe a little bit less. We're going to need maybe three or four pieces this kind of size and toss it in there. Now, the thing about the portable soup in this recipe is that we don't want to cook this a lot after we put in the portable soup. As soon as the portable soup has dissolved, it's no longer in its um, little blocks, then your soup is done and it's time to take it off the fire. So I'm gonna pay attention to this to uh, make sure that I catch this well, as soon as it's uh, uh, basically dissolved. It only takes a few minutes, maybe two or three or five minutes uh, for this stuff to, to break down. I know you're gonna ask about a, a vegetarian version of this same uh, soup. The perfect answer is mushroom ketchup powder. When you get done making your batch of mushroom ketchup, your leftover 
uh, mushrooms, you let those dry out, and this is a spectacular flavor booster. It's got uh, uh, some salt in it. It's got wonderful flavors, and it's perfect for this. In fact, I think I'm going to cheat and put some in while no one's looking. It definitely is going to need some seasoning, so I've got our, um, our pocket spice kit. It's great for a little camping trip like this. Let's go ahead and uh, put in some salt. And uh, definitely some pepper. And of course I like pepper, so more the better. And maybe just give it a little extra zing. How about some cayenne? Also, if you want to thicken this up and you're on the trail, a little bit of ship's biscuit in here would be a great addition. Oh yeah. That's great. Mm, and the greens too. This is done. Our soup has cooled down and it looks great. It's really kind of, it's even thickened up a little bit. Uh, it's still ra rather warm, but the greens are in there. You can see the barley in there. It's got a nice color to it. Mmm. Mm. Wow. That is excellent soup. There is, you know, there's nothing like uh, cooking your meal out over an open fire like this with uh, greens that you've just gathered. And it's wonderful flavor. Wow. Nice tooth to it. The barley thickens it up nicely. A great flavor from the uh, portable soup. Oh, and that portable soup. We're going to show you in our next episode, next Monday, just how you can make very easily, very simply, uh, this uh, portable soup at home. If you're new to our channel, I want to welcome you and make sure you subscribe so you get notification of the new episodes as they come out. Uh, here uh, listed below, you'll find uh, several videos which I'm sure you'll be interested in.